<laughs> Go off to a great start. <laughs> of Between Two Bears. I am Baylor the Riveter. And I am Molly the Riveter. And I'm Ed, and I'm not a Riveter because they didn't give me a costume or a lipstick. Ed, <laughs> you're really, you tested me here. This is a very special rainbow bandana. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Now you're a Riveter just like us. I feel like it. We are joined here today with the director of She Stoops to Conquer, Ed Swidey. Woo! Very <laughs> sucks when you have to give your own applause. She stoops to conquer. She does. Who is she? She is Kate. What is Kate conquer yeah. specifically? Right. Well, what do you think? You're in it. I'm in it? Yeah, you're in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You did? This is your exact outfit. That is, this this is, is news to me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and She Stoops to Conquer. Oliver Goldsmith was a, a British writer. He dubbed She Stoops to Conquer laughing comedies, which were... <laughs> yeah, so, so we... Uh, okay. Yeah, he wanted comedies that were fun and and um, and celebrated his kind of lower class roots. Even there, the yeah. class. Yes. Yeah. How old is this play? It was mm. uh, written and then first premiered in 1773. Oh my God. Yeah. Is there singing in this show? There is musical. There, there is some music. In there show. is yeah. some music. dancing. There is a little bit of dancing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. So Ed, this is your first time on. Between two bears, and we like to take care of our guests here, and so Molly and I got you a little, a little something, something. We got you a very special free ticket to come and see yes. Hamilton. Yeah, yes. it's got a ticket to She Stoops the Conquer, which is just as good. Yes. Yeah. What has been your favorite part about being the director of She Stoops the Conquer? I think really seeing that the actors have jumped in and, and made this play their own. I, I've thrown them a lot of curveballs and asked them to do a lot of things that were, I, I think, outside the box and just seeing how they've all jumped in, kind of, <laughs> even though they were like, oh, I don't know if this makes any sense, but we're gonna do it. Why should people come and see the show? Oh, it's, uh, I think, the perfect kind of show to see right before the holidays. It just, it's light and celebrates uh, all the absurdity of human life and all the silly stuff that we, Whole in our daily lives to kind of try to get through and find love and keep our families together. So is it is it like a Christmas musical? It's it's exactly like a, a Christmas, Christmas musical. Story. When she conquers, she's actually conquering the pompous dogs um, with the, the help of um, the trusty. I love that with a leg lamp in it. With a leg lamp. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and the the the, the beat it goes to Yeah. Not to be confused with Springfield Little Theater's production of. A Christmas Story. So we open tonight, the 29th of November, 7.30 p.m. So be there, get your tickets. On tomorrow, 7.30, and then Saturday, 7.30, and then Sunday at 3.30, we close. If you haven't signed up for your unified slot yet, make sure to do so. And that is it for us for this semester of the TND Wrap. If we don't see you before then, have a great break. I was going to see that, Molly. You know what? Have a really great break. Is it really lipstick? Basically, yes, it is. You know the thumb trick? You wouldn't. I, you know I, I lipstick. Think... Wait. Well, there are things I don't want to say.